right, you know what this is. Mm. I'm doing my best Vanna White impersonation Very good. for you. This is the Michigan flag. It has a moose, elk, eagle, and of course the Latin on the bottom. If you seek a Pleasant Peninsula, look about you. A lot of Latin, yes. There is one state lawmaker, though, that thinks this 111-year-old uh, design is outdated and in need of an overhaul. Let's get to Rod Maloney, who's uh, standing by with a flag of his own. This is actually <laughs> not the first time there's been a push to change it, right, Rod? No, but there is a lot of steam behind this one, Devin. I'll tell you that. Now, to board means I will protect. And then, of course, there's the whole thing about if you seek a pleasant peninsula. Well, that, this is where all of that comes from. But could this be changing on us soon? Well, there's a pretty good chance, it looks like. Ask anyone across Michigan what they know about their state flag. I could have sworn it had like a uh, bird on it. Is in the, blue the bird, yeah, and then it has like a bird the, eagle or eagle something. On it. Okay, let's take a closer look from drone four and decide if they're correct. Antelopes <laughs> or, or whatever. Gazelles yeah. or, or moose. Mm, they could do better. Well, that's exactly how East Grand Rapids State Representative Phil Skaggs feels. An SOB flag, a seal on a bed sheet. He is suggesting putting together a legislative panel that would bring together design experts and go to work on modernizing our old Tuibor streamer. We are a distinctive place and we should have a distinctive flag. Turns out about half the states did what Michigan did. Now, a vexiologist is someone who studies flags and flag design. Ted Kane is one who published a book called Good Flag, Bad Flag. If the very purpose of the flag is to show who it represents, and you can't tell who it represents, then it's a design failure. So as we look to remake our century-old standard, Ted tells Local 4 we should go for... Simplicity, meaningful symbolism, two to three colors, no lettering or seals, and distinctiveness. I think given our uh, water heritage and the forests here, as well as our two uh, great uh, large universities that we'll see the colors used will be uh, blue and green. Now we asked a lot of people what they thought the flag should have, and this right here is what they came up with. Give us the state ringed by the Great Lakes. How can you go wrong with that? And frankly, I don't know how you argue with that. Devin, back to you. <laughs> this is, well, first off, huge credit for yeah. introducing so many people to the word vexillologist. I no, love no, that. No, yes. Uh, but you learn <laughs> something new every day. <laughs> I, uh, I, I guess this idea is sort of going to be, if you will, run up a flagpole here to try it out. How long before, where is this going? How long is this going uh, to take to figure well, out? Well, it's, it's, it, Classic legislative stuff. They'll have their committee. They'll study it. They'll talk about it. They'll uh, probably take a year to get the study done, and then it has to get through the legislature. Who is going to fight for the flag? Who's going to fight against it? And then it has to get to the governor. So it's probably a year, maybe two or more. We'll just have to wait. Boy, and see. this is good dinner table We're arguments and first. debates. I know. <laughs> I love it. All right, Rod.